we've been planning for the launch for adult use for a very long time. We've been operating in this space in the state of New Jersey at our other two locations in Lawrence and Elizabeth for it's been over three months now. And now Zen Leaf can finally add its third location to the list. The Cannabis Regulatory Commission giving approval for Zen Leaf's alternative treatment center in Neptune to expand into the adult use market. James Leventis, executive vice president for Verano, which operates Zen Leaf, says it's a step the company is more than ready to take and highlighting the company's commitment to making sure medical patients are kept a priority after launching recreational sales at their other two locations back in April. We have designated parking spaces for patients right up front when they come in. Medical patients can come right up, skip the line, express check-in. Zenleaf is one of two ATCs the CRC approved to expand into the adult use market. Columbia Care Suspensory in Vineland also getting the green light. So we have been cultivating uh, in a smaller location for both adult use and medical. Um, and now this is going to give us the opportunity um, to increase supply both to our dispensaries, but I think most importantly, for all the new dispensaries that are soon to come online. The CRC granted conditional licenses to 79 more businesses looking to begin recreational marijuana sales. They'll still need to get both zoning approval and proof of local support before they can get an annual full operating license. A motion to make home delivery and curbside pickup for medicinal cannabis also approved. For some patients, it's the only way that they can access the medicine. Uh, they can't get out of uh, their living situation and they, they need it to be delivered. But one area of concern still not addressed is the sale of edibles. While Ken Walski says he understands the CRC is doing what it needs to do to make sure products are properly regulated, he says sometimes edibles are the best option. Many medical patients can't uh, can't smoke their own medicine or um, or even vaporize it. Another concern not addressed, workplace safety. When recreational marijuana was legalized last year, leaders also agreed on a provision to create workplace impairment recognition experts or wires. Since a person can test positive for marijuana for quite some time after using it, the role of the wires is to determine if an employee is impaired on the job. But the CRC hasn't issued any rules governing workplace use yet. The expectation that those regulations will be the end all be all and the answer to all concerns of employers who have employees in safety sensitive functions. And I think that's a false dichotomy. There is, for example, no scientifically established connection between signs of impairment and cannabis use. Uh, the use of cannabis is highly idiosyncratic on different individuals. It is not akin to testing for alcohol. That's been recognized by the scientific community, that difference, and it's also been recognized by the courts in many states. The CRC says it's working to address concerns like workplace safety and the sale of edibles soon. In the meantime, the public is invited to weigh in on its updated rules for personal use cannabis ahead of the commission's meeting next month. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.